Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's a makeup tutorial for dusky skin tones, but I'm not going to use any artificial lighting for this video. I'm going to use all the natural lighting that I'm getting in this room today, except one LED bulb that is right on the top of the wall. There is no other artificial light in this room focusing on me. If I switch off that light, it will be completely dark in this room, which I do not want, of course. To begin with, I have my complete bare face. Also, I've already cleansed my face using the Dharma Bike Hydra Cleanse. Cleanser. It's an amazing cleanser even if you have sensitive skin types because it is very very gentle and mild on the skin which I definitely require because my skin is extremely sensitive. Not only that, this also maintains the pH level of the skin so it doesn't rip off all the moisture away from the skin. To prep my skin for makeup and to moisturize, I'm using my Nutriderm Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion which again I absolutely love pairing with or without makeup on my skin. It just adds the right amount of moisturization to my skin and doesn't make my skin go oily or anything throughout the day. And also it acts as a really good pre-makeup base underneath my makeup. The next step that I do every single day is apply loads and loads of sunscreen with high protection in it. For that I'm using my current favorite L'Oreal Paris UV sunscreen. So this is called their UV Defender UV Serum Protector. They've got different variants in this particular one. I got the one called Matte and Fresh because I have an oily skin type. So I take a generous amount of the sunscreen and put it all over my face and neck and also my ear. Basically, whichever portion of my face and neck is exposed, I apply this sunscreen generously. Also, this sunscreen doesn't have any white cast at all, which is why I absolutely love it on my dusky skin tone. Because, because if the sunscreen gives me a white cast, my skin would look ashy and grey which I absolutely do not want. This gets absorbed into the skin super super easily and also doesn't make my skin go oily throughout the day. And also this particular sunscreen has SPF of 50 plus and PA plus 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 plus. It is also very necessary to prep your lips before your makeup. For that I have my favourite Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum. Formula is basically like a lip gloss formula but once you apply it, it just hydrates and nourishes your lips and also your lips go super juicy and plump and pouty. It has this tingling uh, sensation which makes your lips go really big and pouty. So by the time all of this skincare is blending and meshing into my skin, I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. For which I'm taking my absolute favorite pack eyebrow definer kit. I think the packaging of this product has changed. It looks different now but this is such an excellent eyebrow product especially for dusky skin tones because you've got all the shades that you require to fill in your eyebrows a fairly medium tone to a really really dark tone so you can mix and match or use them on their own as well it also comes with this double-ended um, spoolie and angled brush so i'm just gonna use that to comb through my eyebrows and first I'm gonna pick up this uh, medium tone dark brown color on the angled brush. I'm first gonna outline the top and the bottom part of my eyebrow and then I'll fill them in. Now that I have a blocky shape for my eyebrows, to fill it in I'm gonna use this um, hit pan shade which is a deep dark chocolatey brown color and it works really well on my eyebrows and my complexion to fill them in. I'm keeping my eyebrows pretty thick and youthful. Brows are absolutely really personal. You can do your eyebrows however the way you want but I personally feel like eyebrows really frame your face so even if you don't do anything on your face just filling in your eyebrows does so much. So now I'm gonna move on to the base makeup. Today's look is gonna be really simple yet very polished and clean looking. Not gonna be too much of a heavy eye makeup so I'm beginning with my base today. So my skin type is extremely oily so I definitely go in and gravitate towards a lot of uh, mattifying primers on myself so that way my makeup lasts pretty pretty long. You can choose your primer according to your skin type. If you have a drier skin type, you can obviously go in with a dewy primer or even face oils um, to prep your skin underneath. Today's look, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Primer. It also comes in a dewy variant, so you can choose that if you have a drier skin type, but I really like the matte version on my oily skin. I'm gonna apply this primer on the sort of main areas of my face and to blend it out, I'm gonna use gentle tapping motion to just push the primer inside the skin. 
this way the layers underneath that we built up earlier using the moisturizer and prepping uh, products they are not gonna get disturbed and also the primer is gonna fill in all of your pores and create a smooth even canvas for you to work on now that the primer is done and kind of settled into my skin always give a few minutes of time to uh, make the primer blend in and mesh in with your skin and then begin with your foundation or whatever products that you apply on top that way you will not disrupt the layers underneath the next step is to color correct your skin this is an extremely important step for dusky girls mainly because generally dusky skin people have a lot of pigmentation um, when compared to fairer skin tones counteract that we definitely need a color corrector especially an orange color corrector as you can see I have a lot of pigmentation around the mouth it already looks a little bit grey looks dark dull and grey I have a lot of spots on my cheeks and a little bit of dark circles to tackle that I have my orange color corrector so this is the K Beauty liquid color corrector in the shade orange now this particular shade of orange is really perfect for dusky skin tones because it's a deep shade of orange sometimes lighter shade of oranges cannot mask or counteract the pigmentation on dusky complexions because it is quite deep and has a lot of depth to it this one is slightly like a burnt orange color which is amazing for dusky skin tones and a little bit of this color corrector goes a long long way so i'm just gonna create small little dots on wherever i have hyperpigmentation and acne scars now to blend this out i'm gonna take my damp beauty blender to blend your color corrector a beauty blender works like a charm because it kind of takes away the excess product and gives a smooth even veil i'm using my favorite plume beauty uh, marble beauty blender this is really soft and squishy and just blends your product like a dream so i'm just gonna gently tap on top of the orange color corrector So as you can see on this side, I've created a soft little veil of orange wherever I have darkness and pigmentation and this side it looks quite harsh. I'm gonna blend on this side as well. As you can see, it is blended really nicely and evenly and I've not taken away the entire color corrector off of my face. There is still a lot more orange but it is blended out smoothly. This is what we exactly need underneath our foundation now when it comes to foundation there are a lot of options available today in the market for dusky skin tones uh, be it on the affordable category or the high-end category there are plenty of foundations to choose from for today's look i'm gonna choose the nika all day matte liquid foundation and i've got this in the shade coffee 14 which is slightly darker and warmer to my complexion honestly i do not mind going a little bit darker on my dusky skin tone because I don't want to look ashy with a lighter shade of foundation let me put it out there so I prefer uh, going for a foundation which is exactly the closest match to my skin tone or if I cannot find an exact exact match I would go slightly darker now with this particular foundation I do have to mix in another lighter shade to get my exact match so I'm not gonna do that for today's look I'm just gonna go in with a slightly darker shade there are also other darker shades in this particular foundation range as well the classic Maybelline fit me liquid foundation is also another great option I've used that in multiple videos of mine and it is already almost known to everybody so I definitely wanted to try out something new for this video and this is super super affordable too so why not so I'm gonna take about one and a half pump of this foundation on the back of my hand and I'm gonna take my buffing brush this is the expert face brush from real techniques you could also use a beauty blender if you're more comfortable with the tool I always like to go in with a buffing brush first and then uh, go on the top with a beauty blender to make things even so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put the brush and work my foundation into the brush and I'm not going to apply it in a dotted way on my face that way the foundation would dry up and it would look patchy eventually. So now that I have loaded the foundation brush with some foundation I'm going to start from the center of my face so that is the inner cheek region and gently tap it and you will see that the foundation is automatically getting applied and blended at the same time take little by little and apply it on your face once i've covered the inner portion of my face i move towards the perimeter of my face 
um, on the perimeter of your face do not load up a lot of product um, it has to look really nice and blended and that is why we work with the most amount of product on the inner uh, portion of our face and blend outwards so that it looks a lot more lighter and more softer on the edges do you see that it looks absolutely beautiful and flawless already again i'm gonna load up my brush work the foundation into the brush and start from the center and for the forehead i'm gonna use as little product as possible because I don't have much to cover on my forehead so I'm using really less amount of foundation on my forehead and of course blend it into my hairline. I've got some leftover foundation so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take a little bit of that foundation and I can sort of see a little bit of my uh, pigmentation on the cheek area so I'm just gonna build up the coverage here just a little bit not too much and this foundation is really beautiful it actually looks like skin it doesn't look like a layer of product on the face which i really like this also works on oily as well as drier skin types because it lies right in between matte and dewy so it works on both types of skin now whatever is left on the brush i'm just gonna run it on my jawline and my neck and also on top of the ear this way you can avoid any kind of demarcation between the face and the neck especially working with the foundation which is slightly darker or lighter this is very very important okay now that the foundation is all blended i'm really happy with the uh, base makeup so far because it's giving me coverage and also at the same time it looks pretty pretty natural it's not like a mask of foundation all over the face now for concealer i'm using one of my absolute favorite concealers this is the forever 52 liquid concealer and this is in the shade 005 this is a really really underrated product because it absolutely looks like skin on the skin and has a decent amount of coverage and it just blends like a dream on the skin i really love it shade 005 is not very light to my skin tone it is just two shades lighter which works as a perfect highlighting concealer on my complexion always make sure that the concealer is just two to three shades lighter not beyond that otherwise you would look absolutely artificial which we absolutely do not want this shade works as a perfect natural highlighting concealer on my skin tone so i really like that about this concealer shade i'm just gonna take the concealer and put it on the under eye like so on the inner corner and outer corner also on top of the eyelid and while i'm here i also like to carve out the bottom portion of my eyebrow because that adds a lot of definition to the eyebrows hence it frames your face really beautifully so i'm not taking any more product i'm just using whatever is there on the wand itself and also another very very important place to put your concealer is right on the inner corner that you see right here can you see there is a little bit of darkness on both the inner corners of my eyes you leave the concealer as it is this portion is gonna look absolutely dark once your entire makeup is done so just put a little bit of concealer there as well so that it also looks more brighter just a little bit on the forehead because i already have a massive forehead so i don't want to highlight it more on the bridge of the nose a little bit on the cupid's bow and the chin blend it out i'm using the pack concealer blending brush and the number is 215 there are really amazing concealer blending brushes from pack and this is a really good brush as well so i'm gonna let the uh, concealer on the under eye sit for a while that way the concealer has maximum pigmentation out of it i'm gonna start from the center of the forehead again use super gentle and tapping motion to blend out your concealer that way it blends very smoothly and flawlessly don't put too much pressure on your base products otherwise it will just move everything away now finally i'm gonna blend in the concealer on the under eye so i'm gonna start from the outer corner here again being really really gentle since we have already prepped our skin really really nicely the concealer is gonna blend like a dream so that is why prepping is super super important before applying your makeup that way the foundation your concealer everything that you put on top of that is gonna blend seamlessly 
So now that the concealer is blended, I can see that there is a little bit more extra coverage on the under eyes which I do not want. So I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and just go over, look up and blend it out. Apply very very little pressure and this way I will remove all the excessive product and the base is going to look absolutely natural and provide the right amount of coverage that I want. So that's the perfect amount of coverage that I want out of my concealer. Lately I've been really really enjoying cream contouring and cream blush and cream um, products basically on the cheek area and to define my facial features. So I'm taking my pack take cover concealer in the shade Hot Cocoa which is a deeper chocolatey shade of concealer. I'm gonna use this to cream contour my face and also cream products on the skin looks more natural when compared to powder product. And that's the whole trend that is going on right now as well is to keep your makeup looking absolutely natural. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of that concealer right here slightly above the hollows of my cheeks and stop kind of on the midway and a little bit on the forehead because I have a massive forehead so I like to contour it nicely and under my chin to hide my double chin and a little bit on the jawline and whatever is left I'm not gonna take any more product and just try to contour my nose so I'm just gonna create two lines on both the sides of my nose Contouring your nose is also super subjective. On me, this works perfectly fine to contour and chisel my nose. And I'm just gonna cut it underneath to make it look more shorter. And a little bit on the cupid's bow. And also, I absolutely love contouring my mouth as well. That gives my lips a beautiful pouty effect because I have super thin lips. I like to go under my bottom lip, apply my top lip. These are the places where I apply my um, cream contouring. So I'm going to take a smaller brush. This one is from ELF and now I'm going to blend this upwards like so. Never bring your contour downwards. That's just going to drag your face downwards. So go upwards and blend it out again. Use gentle dabbing motion to blend your base products. This concealer is also really really easy and effortless to blend in your contour and everything. So I absolutely love this one to contour and chisel my face. For your uh, forehead contour, just push the contour up into the hairline. Blend the nose contour and the contour around the mouth area. I'm going to take this angled um, brush and it is very very tiny. So this is going to fit perfectly on the sides of my nose as well as around the mouth area. So it's perfect to blend it out. And I'm just going to use gentle dabbing motion. and blend the nose contour. Now that the contour is all blended, I'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender once again and go right on top of the areas where I contoured, especially on the nose because I don't want the nose contour to look too harsh. So I'm just gonna give it a quick dab. So now that the cream contouring is all blended and done, I'm gonna do a bit of cream blusher as well as some liquid highlight. So first I'm going to do the blusher. So this is the Flower Beauty Liquid Blusher in the shade Melon. It is actually called Blush Bomb. And this particular shade Melon is such a beautiful color for dusky skin tone. So if you are into uh, liquid blushers and if you are on the dusky category, try the shade Melon. You would absolutely love it. It's like this bright coral orangey kind of a color. So I'm going to take it on the back of my hand. Again, never apply your cream products directly on the face and blend unless you know that it would blend um, effortlessly and easily on the skin especially with blushes so I'm just gonna work the blushes on the beauty blender I love to apply this particular blusher with my damp beauty blender so now that the blusher is loaded on the sponge I'm just gonna go on top of my cheeks right from the apple and moving upwards towards the temple to just lift my face. You see that subtle sheen of color on the cheeks. It looks absolutely youthful and super super natural. It almost looks like a part of your skin. That is the beauty of using liquid and cream products to your base. You're gonna apply and blend in one step itself. So that's how the blusher looks. It looks absolutely youthful, juicy, dewy and all of that. This is the side without blusher and this is the side with blusher. You can also go a little 
overboard with your blusher because um, if you apply powder on top of this again the blusher is gonna get subdued so you absolutely can go a little stronger with the liquid blusher so now that that is done whatever is left I'm just gonna run it on sort of the tip of the nose and my chin this also gives your face that doll like effect now I'm gonna take the butt of the beauty blender and go on top of my base once again to remove any excessive product deposit on the face now comes our liquid highlighter for this again i'm going to use a gorgeous product for dusky skin tones so this is the nika strobe and glow liquid highlighter in the shade glazed bronze which is such a stunning bronzy um, goldish kind of a color for dusky skin tone and it melts right into the skin so it just looks like a part of your skin taking a little bit of that highlight and just take a few drops on the back of my hand like so again this product goes a long long way just a little bit is quite enough to add that subtle glow also I have an oily skin type so I don't want to go too overboard uh, with the liquid highlighter just a little sheen of glow will do the job again I'm going to take that on my damp beauty blender work it in and just gently put it on the tops of my cheekbone can you see that it is such a gorgeous and ethereal highlight turn it out again i'm gonna use the butt side of the beauty blender so that it just meshes into one a little bit on the bridge of the nose on my cupid's bow and my chin so now that all of our cream and liquid products are all on i'm gonna set everything in place using a Powder. So this is the Sugar Cosmetics Powder Play Compact Powder in the shade Banana. So this is basically like a loose banana powder but in a pressed format. You can also use a regular banana loose powder or a translucent powder of your choice. This one also gives me a similar effect to that of a loose powder. So that's why I'm using this one today. Now before applying this powder, especially on the under eyes, take your concealer brush, look up and just take away any creases this is really important before setting your base makeup in place and this comes with a sponge applicator take a little bit of that powder on the sponge and gently press it down this way the powder will lock the concealer right in place and you can prevent all the crease mark do you see the difference between this under eye and this eye? This is completely smooth and flawless. Even the under eye bag is completely gone on this side. Don't apply too much powder at once. Take little at a time and just apply it. A little bit around the mouth area. This is another place where I tend to oil up a lot. On this bit here, the inner cheek area. Again, this is a really oily zone for me and slightly on the nose as well so this kind of bakes and sets your face in a one step thing so that's why i'm using this particular powder and i've been loving these kind of pressed banana powders lately to set your face makeup in place so beautifully so you don't have to go in and dust off the excessive powder later now to set the rest of the face i'm going to use the same powder but in a lesser quantity so i'm just going to take a little bit dust the excess and gently press it down on the sort of perimeters of my face and wherever I did not apply the powder previously. Do you see that the base makeup is well set with powder but it doesn't look powdery or cakey at all. All the layers are super super light and thin so they look absolutely natural on dusky skin tones and also make sure to use deeper shades of powder like a banana shade or even a slightly deeper shade would work amazingly well on dusky complexions never go for a white tone powder that is just gonna make you look ghostly and ashy and grey looking which we absolutely do not want the base is all set in place now i'm gonna do a really quick and simple eye makeup look but i'm using a super super affordable palette from mars cosmetics uh this is their all rounder palette and the variant is zero one so like your base makeup try to choose eyeshadows which are deeper and darker in tone so that it shows up on your dusky and deeper Indian skin tones. This palette again has a lot of deeper shades of nudes and mauves right in here. So I'm going to take this medium toned mauve shade on a blending brush. Dust away the excess and 
put it on the crease and use lighter pressure when it comes to blending so that the eyeshadows blend with ease on the eyelid. I'm going to take a tapered brush and pick up the shade right next to the previous color. This is like a deeper shade of mauve and both these shades are matte finishes. I'm going to load up my brush and put it on the entire eyelid area and just nicely blended on the crease. These kind of deeper shades of mauve look amazing on dusky skin tones. Also gonna apply the same shadow on the bottom lash line. With a little pop of shimmer on the eyelids. I'm gonna take this peachy shimmer eyeshadow on my index finger and just tap it on the center of the eyelid. Just adds a subtle sheen on the eyelids. So that's pretty much it for my eyeshadow work. I'm gonna create a tiny and thin winged eyeliner on both my eyes for which I'm gonna use one of my favorite pen type eyeliners which is the NYX Epic Ink Pen Eyeliner. This is jet black and has a super precise depth. So it allows you to create super thin or thick line according to your wish. Now for today's look, I think I'm going to create just the outer corner wing. I'm going to keep it super super thin and delicate. That is my super thin and delicate outer corner wing on both my eyes. Mascara, I have the Kiro Botanico Super Shade Mascara. This is such a gorgeous mascara to add several coats of volume and length to your lashes and also while adding some benefits for your eyelashes as well because this one has avocado oil and calendula extract so they really nourish your eyelashes as well now the eyes and the base are all done let's move on to the lips so first step for your lips is to add a lip liner i'm using my absolute favorite which is the Swiss Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Dark Chocolate and this is such an affordable lip liner for dusty skin tone you guys. This is just under rupees 50 so just go ahead and pick it up, you won't be disappointed. And this particular color Dark Chocolate is just the right kind of color for dusky and deeper Indian skin tones. Because it's such a beautiful deep shade of brown so it shows up well on dusky complexion. As you all know I absolutely love over drawing my lips because I do have thin lips. If you have fuller lips, you can just um, draw it as usual. You don't have to overdraw it. I'm just gonna line and overdraw my lips using the Swiss Beauty Dark Chocolate Lip Liner. So do you see that depth of brown around my lips? It's a beautiful color for dusky skin tone. This literally goes with all the lipstick shades that I have. So just having this one lip liner will do the job. For lipstick, I'm using the Lakme 9 to 5 Primer Plus Matte Lipstick in the shade Chocolate Crush which is a deep warm brown color and looks amazing on dusky complexion. Any lipstick shade with a hint of brown or a lot of depth is gonna look great on dusky complexion because our skin tones have a lot of richness and that rich hint of brown to it. Something with a hint of brown is not gonna clash with our skin tones. On top of this, I'm gonna add a bit of glossiness. For that, again, I'm using the Lakme Absolute Spotlight Lip Gloss in the shade Creme Caramel, which is a stunning nude color again for dusky skin tones. So I'm concentrating this lip gloss more on the center of my lips to bring more poutiness to my thin lips. Formula is again such a beautiful buttery formula. It feels absolutely lightweight and comfortable and yet has a lot of pigmentation packed in it and you can see how gorgeous this particular color looks like on my skin tone as well. Now we have come to the end of this video. Final step is to lock all of our hard work and our entire makeup in place using a setting spray. For today's look, I want my base makeup to remain dewy and glossy for which I'm using the Revolution Glow Fix Setting Spray. If you want a matte option, you can go in for the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Setting Spray again. That is gonna make your skin and makeup last pretty long as well as keep it matte as well. I'm just gonna give it a quick shake and spray it on my face and I'm gonna hold the setting spray at a one arm distance and spray it.
So you guys, that is my finished makeup look for dusky and deeper Indian skin tones in an in-depth makeup tutorial. As you can see, the skin looks absolutely beautiful and natural and we use the right kind of tones that work amazingly well on dusky complexion. So that is why it is very, very important to choose your colors and tones properly when you do your makeup so that it works according to your skin color and skin type and everything. I really hope Hope that you guys got an insight of how to work on dusky complexions on yourself or on others as well. All the products that I use in today's video will be linked in the description box. I really really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and found it useful and helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos make sure to hit the bell notification to get notified each time i upload a new video on my channel this is it take care of yourselves and i shall see you guys soon in my next one bye